being joined by Amir Shahin, who is a senior journalist. He's, of course, joining us live on this broadcast. Amir, this, this is a crucial moment, is it not? We've been looking at the political bickering that's been going on between the PML and Nawaz and the PTR. But now it is quite clearly a case of the ruling government against the judiciary. Yes, uh, it was. It started with economic problems, then it became security problems, then law and order problems, and then the food crisis, and then political crisis, then international isolation, natural disasters, and then we had the constitutional and the judicial crisis uh, in Pakistan, and also the crisis of holding an election, which the Election Commission of Pakistan and the government and the security forces, the police and the military, everybody is saying, cannot be held according to the demands of the Supreme Court, which echo the demands of uh, former Prime Minister Imran Khan, who is known as the Ladla or the favored one. So if you start by talking about uh, the Supreme Court's verdict today, it was very expected because the larger bench, which comprised of seven judges, uh, was of the opinion that the Supreme Court does not have the authority, the Chief Justice does not have the authority uh, to listen to this and pass a verdict on when and how the elections should uh, be held. However, those two judges, uh, they left, they were either taken out or they left uh, the proceedings. And from a 4-3 in favor of let the government decide, it became a 3-2 in favor of the Supreme Court is going to tell you when the elections are going to be held. Earlier, the Election Commission of Pakistan, not taking into notice of the security concerns and the financial concerns, the practical concerns of being the elections being able to be held, had said that they would do it in April. So right now, uh, and then later on, they said due to practical concerns, it will be October 8th instead of 30th April when the elections can take place. But the Supreme Court has held the Election Commission, right. uh, their order unconstitutional. They've quashed it and they've said, no, you have to hold the elections, uh, no matter what, on 14th May, right. which is right around the corner. Absolutely, indeed. It is a pretty big crisis, which the Shahbaz Sharif government seems to find itself. And thank you very much, indeed, Amr Shah, for joining us and getting us those insights. We'll, of course, be tracking this story very, very closely, indeed. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.